Hey everybody, that was Donald Trump calling out his Democratic opponent after the FBI's criticism of how she handled classified documents as Secretary of State. Trump spoke to a big crowd of supporters at the Sharonville Convention Center tonight, but Local 12 was the only station to talk to him one on one. Anjanette Levy is live in Sharonville with what he had to say. Anjanette. Well, Cammy, we spent a few minutes with Donald Trump. We spoke with him about a number of topics, including how he believes he's doing in Ohio and how he's trying to win over women voters. A warm welcome for Donald Trump. He knows how to work a crowd. Before the rally, we spoke to him about the importance of Ohio in the presidential race. I love the people of Ohio, and I think we're going to do great. I know in certain sections I have a 28-point lead where you have the mines and the steel because I'm going to put people to work. Hillary Clinton is going to put them out of work. Trump is relentless in his criticism of Clinton, but she's pulling better with women than he is. I asked him why he believes he's had a problem connecting with women voters. But over my life, I joke and I do entertainment and I'll do shows like with uh, wild man Howard Stern, uh, who's actually a decent person and will will have fun and you know, never thinking you're running for office or anything like that. Trump says he believes his polling with women is improving. When you're seeing the numbers coming up and fairly rapidly, they also want safety for our country and they're viewing me as safety. There's been a lot of discussion about who Trump will pick as a running mate. Newt Gingrich is on the list. He appeared here with Trump tonight. He's also met with Indiana Governor Mike Pence. We have uh, 10 people that we're looking at very seriously. We have a lot of people that want to do it. People are calling, frankly, great people, senators, governors that want to be put in the list. And I'll make a decision. The convention's in two weeks. I'll have a decision made probably a little bit before the convention. Trump is holding his short list of VP potential running mates close to the vest, but he said he's also spoken with some generals because he believes that would be an important uh, person to have nearby or as a vice president as he looks to confront ISIS in the Middle East. We also spoke with him about a controversy that erupted over the weekend when his Twitter account showed a picture of Hillary Clinton calling her crooked Hillary with a pile of money and what appeared to be a star of David. You can hear him talk about that controversy along with some other things in our full interview, which is posted on local12.com. Reporting live from Sharonville and Jeanette Levy, Local 12 News. Back to you. And Jeanette, in your interview with him, he seemed very um, almost sort of low key, kind of quiet, um, not his usual sort of loud, bombastic self. Did you get that impression or what did you think? You know, Kimmy, that, I'm really glad you asked that because he was very low key when he walked into the room, um, very polite very respectful. Um, he was, it was almost a different person. And um, I think that there's a lot of, you know, bombast, as you said, um, on that stage, he's performing. And he talks a lot about how much um, the media is a bunch of liars. And he says stuff like this, but it almost appears to me just from watching this process unfold over the last several months that he actually likes the media. He gets a lot of coverage. He doesn't have to pay for it. So I, I felt like he's up there performing on the stage saying all of these things, but he was very polite and respectful So and, and very low key. I would almost call him subdued. So huh. it was interesting to see the two, two uh, different people there, I guess. I, I hate to say two different people, but the two different personas, I should say. Sure, I know what you mean. Interesting, uh, very interesting. Thank you very much, Anjanette. Trump's next scheduled visit to Ohio will be in two weeks. That'll be in Cleveland, of course, at the Republican National Convention. He says he will release his list of convention speakers tomorrow.